Hello, and welcome back to another round of Tannenberg. We are on the Carpathians. I'm playing as the Bulgarians, the new faction uh, that got added in the release of Tannenberg. I'm a grenadier, so I have a rifle, a pistol and a bunch of grenades. And I'm rushing the church in the moonlit map of the Carpathians. Yeah, this is still something that they need to work on. Because it's stupid that you can't enter the church immediately. So I'm a Bulgarian. And the Bulgarians are the smallest of the central powers in World War I. And they only entered the war in 1915, so the war has been going on for uh, about a year. And then the Bulgarians decide to join in. The, um, all countries that were participating in World War I were trying to, um, to persuade other countries to participate, on their side of course. And Germany and Austria-Hungary Austria were successful in persuading Bulgaria. Because uh, the Serbians were already on the Allied side. And uh, it was Serbian territory that the Bulgarians were after. They wanted to conquer Serbia and add some land of Serbia to their own. And they uh, actually... Uh, a big role in defeating Serbia in World War One. So, oh, that's team damage. Sorry. I think we are going to. That's a Romanian dying, and another one. And another one. Shit. And I got stabbed or maleed at least. So. Oh, we have very unbalanced teams. So I have to wait extra time. It's an unbalanced penalty. Five players need to switch to the Untowned Powers. Yeah, but. I want to make a video about the Bulgarians! So... So, uh, no, I'm not going to switch because I'm a Bulgarian. And I want to stay a Bulgarian until the end of the round. Um... Okay. Maybe it's because there were so many of us already. I wonder what the telephone sign means on the players. Maybe they are the NCOs and they still have some call-in ability on the fly with them maybe. Might be. Okay. like the fact that you can play the same map in different settings because night and day is sometimes it's a huge difference also snow sun fog it's also a big difference maps sometimes look totally dis uh, different Uh, this is a really World War One experience. Soldiers coming over the top. Uh, it feels a bit like Verdun, you know. 
because I'm in a trench as well. I can survive running around this area here. I know the points are lower because we are unbalanced that's why I forgot you also get a score penalty discussion about gas going on and we're about to surround the HQ okay well let's try and capture it I get an achievement if I capture the HQ and I don't have one yet so I'm actually really ah crap <laughs> I totally didn't see that guy be really fast because um, the points are going down so fast if you are winning like this that you really need to be super fast to capture the HQ I hear some language that I don't understand, so I assume that it's Bulgarian. But of course I'm not sure, because like I said, I don't understand. Ah, this is funny. Ah, shit. <laughs> but that was a good run. It's actually a bit um, like an adrenaline rush. Waiting. Wow, that's a real long wait. Yeah, it will be over by the time I respawn. Yeah, this it, this is why it's really hard to uh, <laughs> to capture the uh, headquarters. Well, we won. Hey, 
That was a real fast round. Most kills of squad. Well, that's nice. Well, that was it for this round. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.